Easter's in full bloom at Whole Foods Market with great deals on spiral cut bone in ham and leg of lamb, both crowd pleasers. Round out your spread with quiche, deviled eggs, and delicious catering platters from prepared foods. Oh, and remember to pick up a Whole Foods Market bunny cake from the bakery. Strap for time? They cater too, with delicious options available without the effort. Find hundreds of Easter deals and delights now at Whole Foods Market. This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 2499. Can Exercising Before Bed Affect Your Sleep? By Kirsten Nunez with Healthline.com. And I'm Dr. Neil, your host and narrator. And I'm gonna keep this intro nice and short, so let's jump right in and get right to another post and continue optimizing your life. Can Exercising Before Bed Affect Your Sleep? By Kirsten Nunez with Healthline.com. Regular exercise has many benefits, including better sleep. It can promote relaxation, reduce anxiety, and normalize your internal clock. Exercise also increases your core body temperature. When it begins to drop, you feel sleepy. It's been long believed that working out before bed can make it harder to get a good night's rest. But according to recent research, this may not necessarily be true. Studies have found that it's possible to enjoy exercise close to bedtime without compromising your sleep. The key is to be mindful of the exact timing and to focus on the type of exercise that won't affect your ability to fall asleep and stay asleep. Listen on to learn more about what the science says and how to work out in the evening. What does the research say? Recent studies have challenged the notion that exercising too late in the day could disrupt your sleep. In a small 2020 study, 12 healthy males visited a lab on three separate nights. They did either 30 minutes of moderate-intensity aerobic exercise 30 minutes of moderate intensity resistance training, or no exercise at all. Each workout ended 90 minutes before bedtime. As the participants slept in the lab, the researchers measured their core body temperature and sleep quality. The researchers determined that moderate intensity evening workouts didn't affect the participants' sleep. Another 2020 study had similar results. 16 men and women finished moderate intensity workouts at different times, including four or two hours before bedtime. The researchers found that exercising in the evening did not disturb the participants' ability to sleep. Finally, a 2019 review analyzed 23 studies on evening exercise and sleep. The review determined that evening workouts can improve sleep as long as the exercise was done at a moderate, not vigorous, intensity and ended more than one hour before bedtime. Are some kinds of exercise better than others before bedtime. Not all exercises are equal when it comes to how they affect your sleep. That's why if you want to work out in the evening, it's important to choose your activity wisely. Consider the exact timing of your exercise too. In general, if you're going to exercise at night, it's best to do light to moderate intensity activity. This level of activity may help you fall asleep faster and get better quality sleep. It's also important to complete your workout at least one hour before bedtime. If possible, aim to finish at least 90 minutes before you head to bed. This will give your body enough time to wind down. Examples of light to moderate intensity activities include yoga, stretching, walking, swimming leisurely, biking leisurely, and light to moderate weightlifting. But vigorous workouts should be avoided in the evening. Strenuous physical activity can stimulate your nervous system and raise your heart rate too much, making it difficult to fall asleep. Examples of vigorous intensity exercise include high-intensity interval training or HIIT, running, swimming laps, jumping rope, competitive cycling, and heavy weightlifting. How much exercise is helpful for sleep? To improve your sleep health, aim for at least 30 minutes of moderate-intensity aerobic activity during the day or evening. However, regular exercise is essential for continuous sleep benefits. Strive for 150 minutes of moderate-intensity aerobic exercise every week. You can do this by doing 30-minute workouts five days a week. If it's hard to commit to 30 minutes at a time, you could break this up into two 15-minute workouts a day, five days a week. Or, if you prefer a more strenuous workout, 
aim for at least 75 minutes of vigorous intensity activity each week. Just be sure not to do this type of exercise within a few hours of your bedtime. Find an activity that you enjoy. When you truly like an exercise, it will be easier to do it regularly. What else can help you sleep well? In addition to staying active, there are other steps that you can take to help boost your sleep health. One, keep a consistent sleep schedule. Wake up and go to bed at the same time every day, even on the weekends or your days off. Keeping a consistent sleep schedule can help to stabilize your body clock. Two, avoid electronic devices before bedtime. Turn off televisions, smartphones, laptops, and other electronic devices 30 minutes before bedtime. The light from these devices can stimulate your brain and keep you awake. Three, create a relaxing bedtime routine. Take a warm bath, listen to soothing music, do some yoga poses or stretches, or meditate before going to bed. Four, reduce noise pollution. Use a fan, air conditioner, or white noise machine to drown out sounds that may keep you awake. Five, sleep at a comfortable temperature. Keep your sleeping temperature at or near 65 degrees Fahrenheit, or around 18 degrees centigrade. Six, get comfortable. Make sure your mattress and pillows are comfortable and in good shape. Seven, avoid heavy meals before bedtime. Try not to eat a big meal within a couple of hours of going to bed. If you're hungry, eat a light snack like toast or a piece of fruit. Eight, avoid nicotine, alcohol, and caffeine before bed. These substances can make it hard to get quality sleep. And nine, keep naps short. Avoid napping for longer than 20 to 30 minutes, especially in the afternoon. Napping for longer than this can make it difficult to fall asleep at night. The bottom line. Working out before bedtime has usually been discouraged. It was thought that exercising later in the day could make it harder to fall asleep and have a good night's sleep. However, recent studies have found that moderate intensity exercise won't impact your sleep if you complete it at least one hour before bedtime. On the other hand, strenuous physical activity just before bedtime may have a negative effect on your sleep. This includes workouts like running, high-intensity interval training or HIIT, and lifting heavy weights. Everyone is different though. The best time to get active is the time that works for you. What's most important is that you exercise regularly whenever that may be. You just listened to the post titled, Can Exercising Before Bed Affect Your Sleep? by Kirsten Nunez with Healthline.com. And I'll be right back with my commentary. When you're hiring, it feels amazing to finally close out a job search. But what if you could get rid of the search and just match? You can with Indeed. Indeed is your matching and hiring platform with over 350 million global monthly visitors and a matching engine that helps you find quality candidates fast. Ditch the busy work. Use Indeed for scheduling, screening, and messaging. 93% of employers agree Indeed delivers the highest quality matches compared to other job sites. One of the things I love about Indeed is that it filters out incompatible applicants. So when you're hiring, the process is much faster and you only have to consider applicants that are already likely to be a great fit. And listeners of this show will get a $75 sponsored job credit to get your jobs more visibility at indeed.com slash health. Just go to indeed.com slash health right now and support our show by saying you heard about Indeed on this podcast. Indeed.com slash health. Terms and conditions apply. Need to hire? You need Indeed. Dr. Neil here for my commentary. Today's author, Kirsten, discussed some advantages to staying consistently active most days of the week. Another advantage to being active consistently is that regular exercisers tend to fall asleep faster and sleep more deeply than those that don't exercise regularly. Now, going back to the idea of exercising in the evenings, people will often ask me, but Dr. Neil, the only time I have to exercise is right before bed. I know that both exercise and sleep are important, so I don't know whether to exercise and possibly ruin my sleep, or 
to skip exercising so I can sleep better? The answer to that conundrum is that you can have both. You can exercise in the evening and still get quality sleep. As Kirsten said in today's article, just try to stay away from the high-intensity activities in the evenings. All right, that'll do it for today. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you back here tomorrow for our usual Friday Q&A and where your optimal life awaits.